This video explains how a process of symmetry forming and breaking can form a mathematical base for the evolution of life. This geometry is continuously being formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light or electromagnetic radiation at the quantum level of the atoms. If our eyes worked at a different wavelength we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. Objects interact with the particle wave duality of light continuously forming new electromagnetic waves. In a new theory this universal and continuous process forms the time continuum or arrow of time itself. Therefore the uncertainty and probability of everyday life is the same uncertainty we have in quantum physics. The atoms bond together and then collapse the wave particle duality of light in unison, forming the uncertainty of their own potential future position and momentum relative to their energy or mass. Electrons in atoms can change energy levels by emitting or absorbing a photon of light whose energy must be exactly equal to the energy difference between the two levels. The frequency of light emitted is a function of how far away in energy the two states of the system were. The energy difference between the two states equals the energy carried off by the new photon. This new photon will therefore have an energy level of the golden ratio compared to the previous energy levels. The mathematics of the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence are intimately interconnected. The Fibonacci sequence can be found on every level of creation from spiral galaxies to seashells, from the rings of Saturn to the living cells. The atoms will distort the geometry of space-time, creating mathematical patterns or of fractional self-similarities of every conceivable shape. The same basic method of pattern formation, the same mechanism of symmetry breaking, governs the whole universe of organic and non-organic matter. This gives us a geometrical and therefore mathematical base for the evolution of life, explaining why nature never produces straight lines, but an endless array of curves and spirals. I hope to base this theory on pure mathematics and therefore pure physics. I believe this can be done in just three dimensions and one variable time. Each photon-electron coupling represents zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future and the negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. 